Hi, friends. I'm on my walk this morning with Abby, waiting for her to come up behind me and lap me, but usually she does that around mile three, and I'm coming up on mile two. Um, there's this little park bench I'll show you back there. Um, there's a bunch of them around the park. They're little memorials for people uh, that have passed on. And this man, I see him often taking care of the flowers and kind of taking care of the area around this bench. And I've even seen him bringing up a picnic. This is the beginning of the summer. Brought up a little picnic, took it by the bench, took it up into the woods, bringing load after load. He brings in water to water the flowers. I'll show it to you when I lap around. They look like this little bench here. Like these, I'll show it to you, but um, it's a little, you know, black or whatever. Um, but this man has been at this bench quite a bit over the past couple weeks. And I just, I just thought, I had the thought like, I wonder if it's his wife and he's just spending lots of time with her here this summer. I just, I didn't know. But um, today I took a second to go and look at the plaque. I don't always look at them. It's a little boy. He died four years ago. He was only 13. It's his little boy. And I just, oh, I just feel so bad. Not that a wife is any harder, but like, I just didn't know it was for his little boy. Maybe it's not his. I just would assume so. He just put so much care into taking care of it. Anyway, I do a lot of thinking on these walks. I'm trying to find myself. All right, it's probably windy. I don't know. Just kind of puts things into perspective, you know? But I'll show you on the other side. Well, it's right back there. Um, but he came back from his car and he's sitting on the bench. So obviously I'm not going to interrupt him. I'll take a video of him sitting at his bench. Eventually I'll get a little video of it. I'm sure I've done it in the past. <coughs> anyway, I'm going to finish this walk. I get to stop and pick up Ashley's teams. Well, I guess it's my team, co-team co-coach team you get to pick up all their cheerleading gear from the head coach she can't get it all to their first practice tonight so she's having each of us coaches stop by her house and pick up what we can and lug it to the park tonight and give all the girls their stuff so Abby and I will do that on our way um, Jason is at home with the girls and we are doing Daisy Daycare this week. They're very excited. We get to have her at our house this time. Um, my friend needs to have her daughter and kids stay at her house. And Daisy doesn't do well with lots of commotion. <laughs> She's not used to having little, little kids around. Gets a little too excited. She doesn't around us. She's pretty calm around us. So we're gonna take her for a few days and uh, so they're excited. So they're getting the kennel set up this morning and getting every little thing picked up off the floor. Because um, Daisy likes to sniff around for any little bit of candy or chip crumb or cracker that's fallen. So they need to kind of get things cleaned up. And then we'll start our day. Not that this is, this is the start of my day. But Jason's probably gonna go for a hike um, as soon as they get Daisy. And then we'll 
You don't need to go to Costco except for milk. And even then, with Kaylee gone, we're only going through like two gallons a week. So I'm thinking I just go and get that at the grocery store and avoid a Costco run. Save a little money this week and just eat what we've got. But we'll figure that out later. All right, well I had to get my, my camera out of all of this. Um, here is all the gear that we picked up for the team. Oh, how cute. They have new bows. I haven't even showed Ashley. Um, oh, that's literally her bow. Um, and she needs to quickly try on her shoes. I think she even said that these ones are hers. I ordered her a seven and a half, and I don't think these are going to fit. So I already talked to her about it. She's like, I know these kids at this age are growing like weeds. She even said her daughter is like growing like crazy. There's Imogen's. Oh, how fun. So the girls that are, um, this isn't their first year, their uniforms are in this box. And then the new girls all got um, their bags. And then the uniform, actual uniforms are in here. So I think the bag, if you want to tell Ashley to come and look, their uniform. So these are brand new girls. So they get their t-shirts, their uniform, and probably their palms are in the bottom. But everything is according to that person. So this is, who's this for? Nancy? Anyway, I gotta learn the names of my girls. Um, and then these are the, re, like the return girls. So I need to get Ashley's out, so she has that. Um, but, um, this is kind of fun. And I don't know if my sweatshirt is here yet. So, it probably is not. Meanwhile in here, I think we have a sad Daisy. Oh, maybe she's not sad anymore. Daisy! Daisy, who's downstairs? Come here! Daisy! Is Ashley awake? Yeah. Come here. Ash, come try on your shoes. Uh, or Ash, come try on your cheer stuff. Yeah, I have it. It's cute. Uh, you have to go out yeah, we'll And then, out. look, we're doing like light purple. I, I love it. Really Dude, I'm off in these. I know, I already talked to her. And she was like, these girls, are, she's like, you don't even know. Like, oh, oh quick, 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 quick. <laughs> Hi, Daisy. Hi. Uh, she's sleeping in our bed. She's no, sleeping. I'm going to go get the kennel. I'll go get the kennel. Right. It'll be easier. No. Well, she can. Hi, sweet pea. Hi. Your mama left your, your sleeping mat on the door because she knew you'd be sad if she saw you again. Yes. Okay. As long as you don't find out what's outside. Well, when Ashley's done playing with Daisy, we'll show you the uniform. And I need to go look in the box to see if there's panty spanks in the box. Um, I'll show you her t-shirts so far. These are the practice t-shirts. I love this one. This one is really cute. And then here is her, here move your hair. And they did it different this year. You put your hand, put your hair down in the back. And they did the, this was all white last year. Now put your hand down. And I like how the seams match up on this side. And then the skirt, show them the skirt. It has pleats. Normal, but then it like, it like, pleats out so that they can actually do high kicks and so they don't like yeah because before it was like no, super when you, tight when you kick you have to like right after you have to like yeah it like totally rode up and so this looks really really good I like it um, but I need to go find the little Spanx um, go get your ten your uh, new socks please and then um, we'll try these on I don't think they're gonna fit luckily we don't need shoes until games. Okay. So we have some time to order that. And I guess I should actually email her or text her really quick and ask when my would like to have one for practice tonight to show that I'm a coach and not just a mom staying. <laughs> um, but she probably just barely put the order in. Um, let me see what day she put the order in. But anyway, I'll eventually get the same thing. So the sweatshirt and the two um, cheer practice t or yeah, t-shirts. Um, I won't have a uniform by any means, but 
mine should say coach instead of um, like my name so all right since we got new socks for back to school we're saving the white ones for both cheer practice and games um, and she can wear these ones just for school the striped ones Ashley oh dear I'll tell her later there <laughs> She's learning to play well and ob obey commands and not be so aggressive with no, things in her mouth. She's able to touch the ball and she doesn't care. Well, she's not being yeah, she's not being she's as... Really possessive when you're playing. I, I play with her. So she's doing a good job. But I am getting all the little the little tag thingies out of these socks. And then um, I need to... Also, the shoes. I'll tell you about my shoe situation here in a second. Um, I'm going to go through her sock bucket and we're going to declutter some of these old socks. All right, I'll show you this shoe situation here at my garage. So not only did I lose one pair of my UFOs, not that one, but this one totally slid. I didn't say this, but at Abby's senior picture, this broke while we were there. So I put my tennis shoes on. Luckily, they were in my car. Um, but those ones broke. These are my old ones from last year and the year before. But the pair I got for this year, they broke two days before that. <laughs> I don't remember what I was doing. And I, I slipped and I slid. I don't know what I was doing. I can't remember. But I slipped and um, that same thing broke. So Jason's ordered a new pair. A shipment came in yesterday. Oh, she didn't come out, did she? No. You know, you aren't dressed. Let's go back inside. You're literally wearing a bra, not even a sports bra. Go inside. I'm trying to find your panties if they're in here. I don't think so. Well, there, did, did no one order? I wonder if the panties, like, didn't come. I've got all of them in here. Did we not order, huh, I don't understand. Did they not come in? Or are they just telling him, I can't remember. Can you text Alex and ask if you guys have the panty spanks? That looks good. I love the color. It's I mean, so I don't fun. mind the dark purple. Where's your phone? Um, no, because I need to be able to get in the car, stay out here with my phone. Um, they're not anywhere else, but I want to look in one of the girls' backpacks that got everything. Like yeah, she's a nail. Um, and see if they got panties. <laughs> There's nothing like clearing out socks. When you have new socks, the old ones don't seem appealing anymore. So, we have just gone with new ones. And I'm just going to, I mean, they're just done. They're just done. We realized Chelsea needs socks. She needs, these ones are probably done. But this is all she has for now. So I probably will go get her new one. Actually, she has a whole pack. She has a whole bunch, like a whole pack of black ones like this. I wonder where they all are. Oh. Chelsea? Chelsea? She's so busy. These are Abby's. Can't, can't get rid of these. I want to bring Daisy. I wonder if Abby's like have gotten... These are all Abby's no-shows. I think that they just get knocked into the same buckets or different buckets okay we have a miracle we have a miracle this bucket is unmatched socks it's empty i finally threw them away i do this often if it if after six months i haven't found the match then it gets thrown away so i have done that abby is here doing her bucket I have a whole bucket or a whole. Um, sorry, I have something playing in my ear. A call coming in for Ashley. Um, I have this is all garbage socks matches that didn't ever match. We have a bucket here of all cozy socks. I need to find the Care Bear one. Bedding it's under Ashley's bed. We have I'm trying to avoid Abby. This is Chelsea's bucket. Did find a lot of those black ones they got put into Abby's bucket. So those two buckets are done up there. And Abby's sifting through hers. We do need to put an order in of Dansko socks. Abby wants no-show ones and I like um, 
These are online. These little ankle ones. Yeah, that's right. I like these guys. Um, but they are almost worn through. So I need to text, well, Jason's, when I need to text Jason when he's at work or he needs to do it today when he's at home and actually just put an order in because Abby does these little no-show socks from Smartwool or Dansko. Like, here's the Dansko ones. I, and I've been holding on to this one single pair because I really want more of these ones, but alas, I can't find that one. But this is the kind that Abby wants. So, socks, done. I'm getting ready to, Abby, you don't feel like you need more besides the no-show? Well, I think she said she wants to replace these guys. So we'll leave them here until I actually replace them. Um, and then, well, Jason knows which ones. We're gonna, I'll donate that one. And then here is my large bag of donated socks. We're just, they've worn out of them or we get these kind, like the, like the cute, like, um, you know, decoration ones or whatever, holiday ones. And none of us like to have the little threads bug our feet from the inside. So, also, to show my realness, this is my junk bucket. <laughs> I do have, like, um, donation stuff sitting in this pile. I don't think you can donate underwear. At least I wouldn't buy donated underwear. So I'm gonna throw that away. I always throw away my underwear. I do not pass down underwear. Um, yeah, these are all donate and I wish I wish I could hang on to this kind of stuff for Ashley to fit into it's just too long and these are just like from these are just leggings I just it's not worth are these the Fabletics I should check Abby can you just double check that you don't want any of these black leggings did you get the ones that were hung up all right I'm on a decluttering streak this is all going to get donated. This is going out to my party bucket. Um, one more beach day, which I will load up after I don't have Ashley's cheer stuff in my car. We only need two towels at most for the beach day and then all of the beach stuff gets packed up for the summer. This is all donated. That goes to the car for her practice tonight. This is all garbage. This one is having FOMO, but she's exhausted and she's hot. So she's staying as close to the two of us as she can. But she really wants to lay down and take a nap in her little bed. Right, Daisy Do? Come on, come upstairs with me. Do you want to go upstairs? Her bed's up there. Go lay down. It's going to be a, take your laundry bucket. Take your laundry bucket. Go put it all away, please. You can go lay down. Her bed, your bed's up there. Daisy, come. Your bed's upstairs. I, I, she's like, has major FOMO. Go, go with Ashley. Like, I'm not doing fun things. Go. Go with Ash. She really... D I'm going in here. I'm bye-bye. Go with Ashley. She seriously has, like, major FOMO. Which one is going to be more fun? But I promise her this is not the more fun. Look, I didn't eat these. I should throw them away. I'm going to. Um, and this. This is my sack snack drawer, but you can see... I still have snacks because I'm just not eating them. I'm going to put these out there. The kids can munch on these. I've had these for a long time. These came home from Hawaii and that came from my friend's little birthday party. Didn't eat that. But my problem is this drawer, I don't think you're going to be able, oh you did choose me. Oh, this drawer, I don't know if you can see inside here, see the crack back in the back? The bottom of this um, drawer has come out of its little tray crack thing back there. And so when it gets weighed down, it gets caught. So Jason has taken all of this out from the next drawer. This all got caught and I couldn't shut that drawer. Um, so I need to empty this one and reattach the bottom to the back. All right, got that put back in. Now I'm going to put my little liner in. I think I just got this on Amazon. It just helps everything kind of stay, I don't know, obviously it takes a while, but eventually things slide around, but it does help. So put all this stuff back in. 
Okay, well here's my mess of garbage. Donate. Um, this is what the drawers look like. This one, I'm going to go to Target. I'm going to get some more of these bins. Um, as I kind of go through things. Actually, that needs to get put away. I just want things to be a little bit more organized. <clears throat> so, I'm doing more electronic, loose stuff in this drawer. And this one bin is not enough. This one has just flat stuff in it. Um, and then this guy has paper, lined paper, graphing paper, computer paper, and then um, a few of our old cards there. And then this guy is all of my electronic pouches and such, like old GoPro, new GoPro, which my, old, my new GoPro needs to get put away into here, and our DJI. And then the bottom drawer now has memorabilia, the yearbooks, and different pictures and things from the kids. Um, so, and I don't know why we can't get rid of these. I don't think any of these work, but, you know, it's just weird. Okay, flipped over to Costco really quick. Yellow corn, got the um, Gatorade for Ashley because they didn't have, um, oh, the other drink she wanted. Propel. She wanted Propel and they didn't have that. Um, Jason got a Brita refill for the store and the garbage bags for the store. Then I got cottage cheese, cheese, two milks, because we're not going through all four. And then I want to try this, I think I've had a sample of this before, the chicken pad thai. And then frozen fruit for Chelsea to make smoothies with. Oh, and strong. the uh, teriyaki udon. This stuff is so udon. good. Udon, sorry. And then Alani. So, oh, and then we have bananas and bread. So very small haul and simple. All right, we're at home. We ran to Target after we dropped everything off here. Where's our Target bag? Oh, wait, I guess she likes bottle, but like, I got her a frozen water bottle. Oh, I, Chelsea saw it. Video. Chelsea sent the video of it. She likes frozen bottled water. Um, we went to Target really quick. We got H-A-M. Certain dogs like to say, hear that word, so I can't say it out loud because she can't have it. I said it. But I got some little bins for my drawer, but also for this monstrosity. This is not where things belong. This is where things belong. But these have become I'm so overgrown. I live in this house. You do, but you don't make messes in the house. I hate how he d uses that. You just have to organize your crap. When all the kids have their crap all over the floor, what do you do? Put your crap away. He's ignoring me because he knows I'm right. And he doesn't like to be told what to do. I'm gonna come and do mine later, but I'm gonna help him. All right, one of the cups right there, that blue cup there, had coins in it. And I decided to just separate the pennies. And Mama's got herself some Cokes. I actually need pennies for work. Well, you can take the pennies. No one wanted to do anything with the coins, so Mama's gonna take them. That's $10 in coins right there, my friends. Wait, when do I? $10, plus I have a... One dollar lira, lira, lira. That's from Italy, and that's probably an Ital Italian one as well. Oh, that's George Washington. That is a one dollar, right there. So this goes with your other coinage that was other currencies. Okay, that bag is filled with garbage. I have two extra totes, actually four extras. Um, this is to put stuff in when he comes home from work, if he happens to have a few things. This is sunglasses, and that is keys. Yes, keys. So, maybe Abby can put her keys in here. We can have one for, like, Abby's keys. Well, we were putting her keys in the metal container so that it doesn't broadcast and get picked up like they were doing. That's why we got metal containers in the first place. Okay, fine. But that's the only one that needed it. Okay. I don't like the look of that, so I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> so, I don't know. Okay. This area is all clean, and now we're going to go work on my drawer space real quick. Got my little containers. Probably too many, but you can never have too many. All right. Once again, here's the before of the drawer, and I'll show you after. All right. Everything but the, well, I guess I can put this, this film I haven't developed. 
I guess I'm gonna put it in the back here. I do have one little hidden bucket here. These are the little shrinky dinks of Jason's from when he was little. He inherited from his mother. So those are just back there along with my Lego um, instructions and our COVID vaccines. They're a vaccination well, cards. They're underneath there. I don't know. Um, but in case I ever want to turn that into a different thing, I've got the instructions for that. So then we're just going to tuck these back here. I don't know when I'll get around to like developing that film. This is a necklace or a bracelet bag. But here is the final result. I've got cords all wrapped up in here. Um, then I've got um, power pack and block. This is my battery charger for my camera. And these are just the blocks that go with some of these power cords. And then these are the little knobbies that hook to the cords. And then this one actually hooks on a desk. Um, Abby used to use this for her desk. And then you can attach cords to it so that they don't fall off of your desk like that. Um, but no one is using them right now, but I don't, you know, they're still good. And then I've got our Marriott. No, I know, but it's not time to go yet. She's getting a little antsy. These are my Marriott um, hotel cards. We paid for these. We can use that when we go to a hotel again. Um, and then just bigger power cords in here and like a little dust cloth. Then I've got my air tags in a container here, as well as my pill containers and um, the little stickers that go on them, and some neosporin. I always need neosporin here at my desk, um, and then I also have one extra little travel tag um, in there. Um, need it kind of tucked down because it gets caught on the drawer. And then back in the back is parts for Chelsea's um, iPad pen. Um, I just keep back, yeah, her Apple Pencil, and that's in there, and then I'll just show you one more time, that one's done. This one I just have extra containers, just because there was a space in here, and that kind of keeps things in their spots. Um, I do have a few little lanyards in here. This is uh, a cord I could use for my camera if the one on my camera breaks again. This is an old case, but I can still use it again, it still works for my current phone. And then, I think that's it. Oh, I made more room in here. I just kind of shuffled things around and made more room. I'm kind of annoyed that this doesn't like want to fully stay down, but I don't open this very often. Yes, I'm done, Ash. You need to go put your hair in a ponytail, Ash. Okay? Put your hair in a ponytail and we can put your bow in. She's doing her zen garden. We literally didn't show anything from your chair. You can't. I know, I can't really. But it would have been fun to show. I don't know, but we couldn't. You could show me. But you had a good time, right? It's different to be the coach, um, but it'll be fun. You were just um, talking about names all the time, Tammy. I'm like, well, because I had to get to know the girls, and we were also talking about other things that coaches talk about, not we don't tell you as the daughter, because you are one of the teammates. Yeah. Um, things that we need to do going forward as coaches, but, um, it's nice because right now the older girls, the eighth graders, seventh graders, we're helping, um, are, we're helping to teach them the routines tonight and in a few weeks, well, hopefully like in a week, um, the high schoolers are going to come in and they get community hours by coming and helping and they will be there to teach the routines to the girls. So really, I'm not teaching the routines. Um, I'm just kind of there to kind of keep, keep them going through and guiding them and seeing who needs what help and, and things like that. Um, eventually, when we get to school practices, we're doing a little bit more, but we've kind of been doing it for long enough that we know. And they know the routines. We're just practicing them. We're just practicing them for the new ones. Yeah. So, um, it's fun. I'm going to get my uniform here in two weeks. But tomorrow night when I go, um, I am going to take a sweatshirt. It got cold tonight. And I'm going to wear like workout gear just because it felt like. Dressy. Yeah, I felt like dressed up and I should have been wearing like sports outfit. You know, just to be able to like. I mean, I had to put tennis shoes on with my cute little outfit today. <laughs> this girl right here. So <laughs> she funny. just gave up. 
<laughs> she like was like, and then she's like, creak. she goes to bed at eight o'clock, and she's like, can we just go to bed already? Daisy, should we go kennel? She's not even moving. Here, I'll pick her up. No, no, no. She get. Come on. Get get her cheese. Let's go. Let's go. Let's <laughs> she go. just she rolled over for a tummy rub. All right, we're gonna put her to bed. I'm gonna go shower. Um, my my schedule is off tomorrow. I can't go walking right away. Um, but I am determined to go walking. It's just gonna be in the middle of the day, but it has not been hot. <laughs> so I don't think it's gonna be a problem for me at all tomorrow. When you tomorrow. go and walk, it's gonna be awkward, because you know, like, not awkward, but like sad when you see the dude pick up the flowers and stuff. Yeah, now I know that that guy visits, you know, because of his son, and that makes it sadder. He's, the son is Abby's age. He would have been Abby's age. He would have been a senior in high school this year, which is so sad. But, oh, you see, now she's, <laughs> they give her a piece of cheese. Sit. When they give her, get her in the kit. No, she doesn't get the cheese. No, Wait, do you right. give her a piece now? Spin. Spin. There you go. They teach her tricks. She doesn't she's learn these tricks oblivious. from home. So, like, if I just do it Daisy, right sit. Sit. Spin. Good girl. Spin. Spin. Yes, you have to show her. Yeah, but I've been working on that for a year. I know, but she's getting it. Okay, now kennel. Daisy. Go to kennel. Okay, we're gonna go to bed. Say night, guys. Yes, this, this happened. <laughs> Just that kind of night. I gotta get my act together um, for these practices at night. Have a meal ready to go here at home. All of us moms that were there tonight we were all like, we gotta get our, we gotta get our game together, because all of us have kids who are there, all of us have families who are at home, and we're like, okay, I guess the day, the day starts today. Like, we gotta get our act together. We gotta have meals ready at home. We gotta have gear ready to go in the car. Let's go. We need to have our game on, quite literally. So, we're gonna sign off with you. I loved how much organizing and decluttering I got done today as well. Mom, stop. It's kind of a multi-purpose day. Let's go upstairs. Yes. Say goodnight, because we can't her. Maybe I need a break. Maybe that's why I fade into this bitter taste. I think I'll let it be.